What is color? Well, that's a tricky question. Colors are everywhere around us. And a life without them would be pretty boring. Now, to understand colors, you must first know a little about light. Light is, as you probably know, what makes it possible for us to see the world around us. And if we didn't have any light, well, it would be dark and we wouldn't be able to see colors or anything. So let's turn the lights on again and have a closer look at what light really is. This bulb is a little big though, don't you think? So I think we'll have to shrink it first. There we go, and then put it over there. Now let's light it up. That's better. Now just like you would expect it to, this bulb will produce a beam of light. This is where the science starts, because you see, this light beam is actually made up of thousands and thousands of small, small waves. So a more correct picture of your light bulb when it's light would be something like this. Though these waves are way too small for us to see, and that's why we see a beam of light instead of single waves. Sometimes we see that light isn't a wave, but a particle, but for now, Let's just think of it as a wave. And while we're at it, why don't we have a closer look at those waves? Okay, so here we have a really good close up of the small waves of light that make up the much larger light beam. These waves are called light waves, which is pretty logical since we are dealing with waves of light. Just like a common wave of water, the light waves goes up and down, up and down. Let's remove the water wave and focus on just one of the light waves. So, what we see here is a single light wave. And as you may have noticed, the distance between two peaks is always the same. This distance between two peaks is called the wavelength. And it works a bit like a fingerprint. By looking at the wavelength, we can tell the difference between two light waves. Okay, that's interesting. But what does wavelength have to do with color? Well, everything. You see, wavelength is the key to understanding what a color is. To show you why this is, I've got an example with two different beams of light here. One blue and one red. The only difference between these two light beams is the wavelength of the light waves that they are made up of. You see, different wavelengths gives us different colors. For example, the light from these four light bulbs all have different wavelengths. The light waves from the red one have a pretty long wavelength, while the light from the blue one has a short wavelength. But what would happen if we have a light beam with light waves that haven't got the same wavelength? Well, let's say this is how light waves in blue light looks, and this is how waves in green light looks. If we mix these two kinds of light waves together, like this, what will happen is that we will get a new color of light, cyan, almost like when you mix watercolors, except this time it's light. Normal white light like the one that comes from the sun, is a perfect example of a light containing light waves with a different wavelength. If you find this hard to believe, just try shining a white light from any kind of lamp through a glass triangle called a prism, and you will see how the white light beam splits up into all the different colors that it's made up of. Well, that's how different colored lights work. But what about normal objects? that don't send out any light. These still have colors, right? How does this work? To answer that question, we're going to use this yummy red apple for an example. Let's shrink it and move it to the right. <coughs> hey, who did that? Oh, let's continue anyway. To be able to see the apple, we of course need eyes. And like we said in the beginning of this video, we need light because otherwise, we would only see darkness. The light shines upon the apple and then it bounces back off again, like a mirror. 
Some of the light that bounces off our apple will go towards our eyes, and when it reaches them, we will see the apple. Since the light bulb sends out normal white light, several different kinds of light waves will be found within it. But not all of them bounces back off the apple, as you can see. Some of the light waves get sucked up by the red peel of the apple. Can you guess which light waves that doesn't get sucked up? Yeah, that's right. The light waves giving us red light. Since the red light is the only light left for us to see, the apple looks red to us. Depending on what material an object is made of, it will bounce off and suck up different light waves. And this is how different objects get their different colors. So this green car here, for example, will suck up all light waves except those giving green light, and therefore it looks green. And that's how color works. Bye!